Greetings everyone, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. We're going to be continuing on in Return of Rome with Trajan, his campaign in Mission 2, Roman Repute. Domitian's successor was a good man, but a poor ruler. Nevertheless, he shared my loyalty to Rome and sought to reverse the damage that Domitian's folly had done. With no sons to pass the mantle to, Emperor Nerva named me as his heir before striding on into the afterlife after two short years on the throne. The immense honor of steering the might of Rome is matched only by the weight of its responsibility. I am a general, not a senator. My mind is built for the straightforwardness of the battlefield not the intricacies of politics. I can and I must learn to be a politician, but in the meanwhile, I should play to my strengths. The divided Roman people need a common enemy, and I will give them that. North of the Danube lies Dacia, a barbarous kingdom, but one also rich in gold and silver. Its wily king, Decabalus, once played Domitian for a fool, negotiating an unfavorable treaty that tarnished Roman imperial repute. My loyal cousin, Hadrian, will join me on this campaign and learn from my example. I will unite the Roman people, take vengeance on a haughty foe, and enrich our struggling economy all in one fell swoop. Now that sounds like a good idea. It's like three birds with one stone instead of two birds with one stone. But anyway, um, we're gonna be continuing on. Objectives are defeat Dicabalus. In hints, Trajan is restricted to a population limit of 50. Many units, buildings, and technologies are unavailable to you. You must seize what you can from the enemy. Though your forces are defeated from Hadrian, you are codependent. Any resources that you loot will swell the stockpiles as well. And any technologies that he researches will improve your units too. Be swift and decisive in your attacks. Delay too long and your enemies will overwhelm you with their superior numbers and supplies. The logistical technology halves the population cost of barrack units, allowing you to field double the number of swordsmen. Scouts. Your scouts report Trajan one red leads an army into Dacia from the southwest. Trajan's confidant, Hadrian, two purple attack Dacia from the southeast with an army of infantry and mounted units. Several Dacian villages, three great do dot the countryside. They are rich in resources and supplies, but poorly defended. King Decabalus of Dacia, five green controls a fortress in the north. He will initially concentrate on Hadrian, but his infantry and archers may turn towards Trajan in if the Roman raid gets out of hand. The Dacian army, four orange, is scattered about the region, operating out of several small bases and defending the local villages. This diverse force is numerous, but can be defeated in detail by a decisive series of raids. Good. Emperor, I will hold the line in the east, but you must rob the enemy's will to fight before I am overwhelmed. Keep our army supplied with loot, and my technicians will improve our weaponry. Nice. Let us go. Look out! A Dacian ambush! No. No, I said fall back. What are you guys doing? I don't know why my guys are not listening. Like, just go. Oh, let us scout around. My share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. 
Yeah, it is also rather risky, but it's fine. We have destroyed that. We're getting more loot. Oh. Share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. We lost quite a few troops, but it's fine. Not entirely, but hey, he has received quite a few resources, so we should be able to research their army and get stronger. As we can see, he's recruited quite a few, so it's rather fine. Yeah, there we go. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. I'll need to destroy them, but I'll need to wait a little bit, even though we've already killed quite a few of their troops. Uh, we've destroyed two of their storage Whoa. houses, we've conquered another place here. Alright, oh, he's getting quite strong too, like look at him, he's already got it. Commission quite a few tried troops. to defeat me once before. Let us see if you are up to the task. You shall Whoa. see. Now, once we capture this place, I'll certainly create lots of archers, I mean archers, uh, ar cavalry, and I'll remove these heavy transports. We see that there's fish, so I hope I'll be able to recruit some um, fishing ships, and yeah, there's a, also an ally dock, so we'll be able to trade, which is good. Yeah, look at that. Ally has attacked rather successfully. Has divided their attention a bit. Come on, let's go. From now on I'll try to also use more tech for you. This is bad. these buildings to train more soldiers I don't need our ships we can send men to assist our allies Six should be enough.
to train more soldiers! Logistics are the key to victory, Emperor. Why field five pigeons when we can field ten? to train more soldiers! Nice! Personally, hew your throat with my blade. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war end. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. the western front for too long. Prepare to face my wrath, Trajan. The enemy is at our gates. Hold the fortress with your lives and cover my retreat. The river crossing is ours. Soon, the Dacian fortress will be as well. You covered my gold, I see. But you shall never find it. Nice! Thank you. 
dumb Jew. Stop attacking my seed, dude. Get out of here. My men have made a nature break. With this new weapon, we will crush station. How about we, uh, wait, no. There. Press on, boys. Good. Let's teach them. No, we don't. We're not gonna need that. Okay. Uh. Could I mean no house? No, nice. Yeah, we don't need that too. Mm. How did he get through? But we have captured his sister in this fortress. Now he will surely surrender. There we go. Between Dacia and Rome was the story of one man's panic and another's bluff. As Decapolis saw my legions thrust into his realm and capture his sister, he must have feared that the end was near. Yet my imperious tone and stern demands during the negotiations were a mere facade. With only a few legions on the front, I knew in my heart that I lacked the strength to overthrow Decabalus today. But he did not. For now, the con man has been beaten at his own game. But I know better than to trust a cornered wolf. As we march home after a draining campaign, I have tasked my best architects with building a bridge across the Danube into Dacia. If Decabalus shows even a hint of treachery, my legions will now have a direct route to his front door. Exactly, my guys. Now that's it, we have finished the f second mission too. This was rather enjoyable too. I really enjoyed it. It was literally just a fast movement. We have been continuously hitting him hard. We had a lot of resources still present as well in our thing. Uh, you know, eco going forward and we've been able to spam him as well with some great siege units. Best, uh, you know, bashing down his uh, military buildings and then eventually bashing down upon his uh, houses, meaning he was not able to sustain a good economy. I mean, economy and, uh, you know, population, so he was not able to train any units. Besides, we killed most of his archers too and towers, so, you know, his city was defenseless and we just bashed through with our army. With that said, we're going to be continuing on with the third mission, which will be Hads Will Roll. But for now, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you should support it. Do you recommend something we're going to get them together as possible as well? Just write down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys later.